Hi everyone, in this video, I talk about new guidelines for PhD to be followed by a PhD scholar for doctoral committee and submission of synopsis and thesis. If you are watching my videos for the first time, then I am Dr. Rekha and I make videos related to education. So do subscribe and click bell button so that you get notification whenever I upload a new videos. Are you a PhD scholar of Partia University? Then you must watch this video without skipping. First, I would like to share the communication which was sent to all the PhD supervisors under affiliated colleges, then research institutes and the department of Pardia University. Here you can see the communication is dated on 27th October 2021. In this circular, it is mentioned that all the guides, that is PhD supervisors, they have to submit the information about doctoral committee meeting of a PhD scholars in an online form prior to the conduct of doctoral committee meeting and they can proceed to conduct the doctoral committee meeting. So all the guides will fill the form which is available in the Bardia University website and they have already registered and created a database for their PhD scholars. Well, as a PhD scholar, you will be wondering what you have to do now. If you have completed both the doctoral committee meeting of PhD, then you have to register in the PhD evaluation section. Before that, you have to make confirm that your guide has registered your name in the online portal. Each and every uh, supervisors, they have to create a database of their PhD scholars. So your name will be registered under your supervisors portal. So you have to make confirm whether your details about the doctoral committees have been registered in the online portal of supervisor. And then you can register and log in the PhD evaluation section. Next, I will show you how to register and log in the online portal of PhD Scholar. First, you have to open Bardia University website and then on the left side, you can see menu bar. So, you have to click the menu bar. In the list, you have to select center and then you have to click center for research and evaluation. In this page, you get all the information related to center for research and evaluation. Well, a research scholars and guides of university department is 39, affiliated college is 134 and research institute is 33. And uh, then other details is a uh, research scholars and guides of research department for category B. Then about the PhD thesis evaluation section. Well, in the beginning of this video, I shared about the communication, right? So here we can see the, that communication. It's dated on 27th October 2021. And the subject was about the submission of information on doctoral committee meeting of PhD scholars. Alright, all these details will be submitted by your PhD supervisors. Now, let's see how to register in the PhD evaluation section. So, first we have to click PhD evaluation which is given in the left side. In this page, you get all the guidelines and the instructions to be followed before the submission of synopsis and thesis. The direct link I have given in the description of this video, you can check it. Before registering and filling the online application, you have to know the instructions which have to be followed. So let's have a look. It's mentioned that the online application, it should be filled and submitted through online. And then, well, the printed online application, it should be submitted to the Center for Research and Evaluation Controller of Examination Building, Bardia University, Coimbatore. This should be done after the prescribed period of research and three months before the date of submission of thesis. Well, it's also mentioned that another copy of synopsis application, it should be submitted to Registrar Bardia University Coimbatore. So next see what are the documents to be uploaded uh, before submitting the online application for synopsis. The documents which have to be uploaded is the image of your signature and photo and it should be below 50 KB. Then about the proof of completion of two doctoral committee meetings, then DD proof and finally about the synopsis file. And the PDF of synopsis file, it should be below 2 MB. Then the printed application form, it should be signed by guide, HOD and principal along with a fee of rupees 3500 which have to be taken in the form of chalan or demand draft in favor of registrar bardia university payable at coimbatore then attested copy of phd registration communication and a pg degree certificate and mphil part 1 examination mark statements or mphil degree certificates also and uh, four copies of uh, synopsis or uh, one copy of synopsis it should be in a cd with a pdf file not exceeding four pages 
well it's also mentioned that if there is any change in the topic or change of guide or conversion of full time to part time or extension of time for submission of phd or thesis then the attested copy of the same should be submitted along with the application and uh, certificate for genuineness of paper publication from the guide it, it should be enclosed well about the proof of completion of two doctor committee meeting also should be submitted for every candidates five copies of synopsis are required but for only tamil phd candidates six copies of synopsis are required panel of examiner should be submitted in a sealed cover and without the panel of examiner the synopsis will not be accepted so you have to get the panel of examiner from your guide so these instructions to be followed before filling the online application form for new user who is applying for phd evaluation for the first time then you have to click the register button which is given on the right side then you have to enter the details like name email id mobile number type address and password in the user type box you have to select scholar if you are phd candidate then you should enter the one time password which is sent to the given email address uh, when after receiving this otp then you have to click the verify otp and enter it in the text box then you have to upload image of your signature and photo and it should be within 50 kb then after confirming the password you have to click the submit button well the user is registered then next you can enter the username and password for login your evaluation page will be opened in the left side you can see the synopsis application thesis application mode of research status query and logout first you have to click the entry button and here you have to give the all the details like your name date of birth father's name gender address of communication mobile number email id then the subject the department uh, where you have registered your phd program phd registration letter number and date then details of the previous degree qualified then if pg degree then state your the register number month and year of passing your mphil part time examinations then title of the synopsis guide details well about the date of doctoral committee meetings and the xerox copy of doctoral committee meeting first and second reports have to be enclosed you can upload the image of doctoral committee meeting report of first and second by clicking the arrow given here then date of submission of the application and well about the details of the fees which you have to be paid that is rupees 3500 and the image of dd have to be uploaded well about the payment details that is dd number and date of dd which have been taken then you have to upload the pdf of synopsis and it should be 4 to 5 pages so you can upload it then finally you have to upload the signature signature it should be within 50 kb then after giving all details you have to save and click submit button before taking the print you can click view button and you can check or whether you have given all the details correct or not and if you want to make any changes means before submit in the synopsis you can make the changes but after submission of synopsis you cannot make the changes well, i am mentioning this because the same details will be taken for thesis application also you can check in the thesis application when if you click entry the same details which you have given already for synopsis application will be saved so you no need to give your personal information again and again for uh, filling the application for thesis application well if you click on the entry of a thesis application here you can see all the information which you have already given will be visible you have to just make the payments and you have to upload the thesis and then you have to click save button and submit button in the left side you can see edit profile so if you want to make any changes you can edit the profile but only three items is given this application belongs to a candidate who have submitted synopsis so here below it's mentioned that your synopsis application was submitted so that you can't edit suppose if you want to make any changes even after the Uh, submission of the application then there is only one option that is you have to visit university university department can make the changes so you have to visit directly and can make the changes
well after filling all the details given in the synopsis application then you can take the printout and you have to submit the printed application online form and the normal filled application of synopsis to the university department along with the attached documents then you can exit by clicking the logout button then after submission of synopsis what you have to do is you can check plagiarism after three months if your plagiarism report is below 10 percentage then you can submit thesis so again you have to log in the portal and you have to make payment for thesis submission for filling the thesis application you need thesis pdf file uh, it should be below 5 mb and the documents are thesis certificate declaration certificate certificate of genuineness of publications no due certificate from the head of the department and no due certificate obtained from the registrar of Bardia University if a PhD scholar is from recognized research institutions or doing PhD under independent study external registration. Then challenge or demand draft should be drawn in favor of registrar of Bardia University and attested copy of university communication along with the uh, CD containing the thesis copy in PDF format should be uh, uploaded. If you are submitting thesis within 6 months from the date of submission of synopsis, then there will be no penalty fee. If exceeds 6 months from the date of submission of synopsis, then you have to pay rupees 500 for every 6 months till the date of submission of thesis. Actual postal expenses to be paid by candidates at the time of submission of consolidated report and a fee of rupees 500 is to be paid by the candidate for provisional certificate along with the Viva OC report. Well, other information which is related to the status of evaluation of your PhD thesis and about the uh, thesis status inquiry or any other inquiries, you can check in the university website. Link I have given in the description. Well, if this video is very useful for you, then don't forget to click like button. If you have any more doubts, you can drop in the comment section. And for receiving latest updates, you can join my telegram and follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching.